First things first, let's check out this amazing sunset up here in Anthem. Hello humans. So, I've been trying to do this for the last few hours and I have not had a lot of success because it's, it's too sunny or it's too loud and too noisy or too windy or whatever. So, here I am racing the sun now and we're gonna see how this works. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to read posts that I've written in the past, blogs that I've written in the past, so you can see my physiology and my expression when it is, you know, when I'm trying to explain what, it, what I'm talking about. Okay, so as far back as I can go, The Animatory Intention of Existence is the title of this blog, and there it is, Truth Illusion. As with all of my writings, this is an ever-expanding expression of thought. I will continue to edit, add, or subtract as I grow, expand, and unlearn what I thought I knew. I'm open. If whatever I say, you know, causes you to comment or react with new information or a different perspective, I'm open. I'm open to new understandings. So, illusion. We are made of matter. Truth. The human body is made up of approximately 50 trillion cells. Cells are made up of molecules. Molecules are made up of atoms. Atoms are composed of fluctuating packets of energy with lots of empty space in between. Therefore, we are nothing but energy vibrating at speeds incomprehensible to the human mind, um, creating the illusion of matter to our very limited five physical sen uh, senses. Um, so I, on my journey, I've heard numerous times that we are beings of energy, and I wanted to understand what that meant. I'm like, well, what are you talking about, beings of energy? What does that mean? So in my research, I dug down and I come to understand that, you know, we just look at our skin, 50 trillion cells, cells are made of molecules, molecules are made of atoms, what are atoms? Vibrating packets of potential energy, they're not really anything at all, just clouds of information, possibilities of information. Such a cool concept. Alright, so, um, so imagine if you were to take a thread or a string and shrink it down to smaller than that of an atom, which you can't really do because it's made of atoms, but just imagine if you could, smaller than that of an atom. And we took that string and we passed it through an atom and pulled it out. What did it touch? Nothing. It's a cloud of possibilities. So if we take that same string and pass it through our finger and pull it out, what do we touch? Nothing. It's space. It's a cloud of infinite potential that we just passed the thread through. And that's what our fingers are. So, if we were capable of regulating our vibratory makeup, we could, in essence, match our vibration to that of a block wall and pass right through it. it uh, in fact, if you died lying on top of a block wall, over time your body would begin to decompose, your vibrational rate would slow, and some of your body would actually absorb into that wall. So we would just, our vibrational, our atomic vibrational state would slow down to that of the wall. And if you remove the body, you could see that we began to absorb into it. It's just a, you know, it's a way to look at it. So your body cells are replaced constantly, all of them with new cells. You are literally not the same physical being you were a year ago. I think that's fascinating. And I would like to have more science behind that and a better understanding of what that exactly means, how everything is replaced in our body and we're not the same physical beings we were once before. I think that's really cool. Um, if you have any information on that, please oblige. Dogs. Hope that's not too distracting. So, our DNA, the concept of genetic determinism, is false. We control our DNA with, our, with the perceptions of our life experience. The Human Genome Project was successful in that they found all of the genes of the human composite, all 25,000 of them. However, little to the public's knowledge, they came up about 100,000 genes shy of their theory making sense of itself. So, scientists were expecting to see about 125,000 genes and only found about 25,000 of them. So, that led them to go, oh, it's not what we thought it was, as science does over and over and over again, which is really cool about science. Um, so, 
I am so intrigued by this information, I feel deeply compelled to share it to the best of my ability. I could not find an illustration that made any sense of the space between the atoms, so I made one myself. If you click the link below to the actual written blog version of this on Transpire, you'll see the image that I created of the thread passing through all of those substances. Um, so I could go on and on for days and literally write a book with all that I've consumed. Well, actually I am. Um, my only motivation is to inspire you to think beyond your rut of thought. We are, as the collective unconsciousness of the planet, very asleep. And what I mean by asleep is just that um, we are filtered in our thought processes um, by what we've learned, by what we think we know. And um, it limits the crap out of us. So, Ask questions, get answers, stop letting others think for us, stop letting our brains think for themselves, subconscious is, runs the show. Um, Reevaluate global thinking. We are so busy with our quote, our little life stories that we never take the time to see past them and even more so do something about it. I am grateful for all of my friends, family, and for all of you who take the time to get outside of their box. So, what, who and what we really are is the space between the atoms, our spirit, energy, the animatory intention of existence, the undeniable unity behind the scenes that connects all of us and truly makes us one, not just with each other, but with all things, even the mysteries that lie billions of galaxies away. So be still and look within and you will feel the truth. Um, all the answers are inside of us. So there you go. Um, I could go on, but I'm quickly running out of light. And um, there's lovely ladies walking their dogs around me. So, so. anyway, um, this isn't one of them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I am in Las Vegas. And while I'm here working on my book and getting my vlog off the ground, I still have to maintain... Um, an income so if you live in Las Vegas and need your windows tinted I'm a window tinter by trade and I'd love to help you out with that we could have a cool two-hour conversation and um, you know have you cooler for the summer I also do web development and high-end printing services and these things so information below links below check them out I'll be back tomorrow I'm gonna get better at this I promise it's gonna get better if anybody wants to do this with me, if anybody wants to join a blog and I can interview you and we can bounce back and forth off each other, that'd be fantastic. Hit me up. Send me a message. Call me. Text me. Whatever you want to do. 702-468-3545. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Later.